Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crystalline Science. Thanks for watching. I'm Crystalline Mahalik here teaching you mid-level science. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, genetics uh, and heredity. And so there was this guy named Gregor Mandel who studied pea plants and he didn't really know he was uh, you know, a geneticist and he never got any credit for any of the work that he did, but he studied thousands and thousands of pea plants and gave us a lot of the great information that we know today about heredity. And so I can talk a little bit about how you get some hereditary traits such as eye color. Um, so first of all, we want to talk about, let's pick a trait like uh, brown eyes. And if you want to know the odds of you passing on that trait to your offspring, you can use something called a Punnett square. And so in this situation, I draw a little square with uh, a couple cells in it to make four quadrants or four cells. And so we're going to let the letter capital B equal brown eyes. And brown eyes have a lot of brown pigment in them. but. Uh, if we use the letter baby B, or a lowercase b, I like to call it baby B, sounds more fun. Um, but if we use that letter baby B, that means any light colored eye. So that means an eye with a lack of the brown pigment, um, being blue eyes, green eyes, gray eyes, hazel eyes, any light colored eye you can think of. And so this is going to be a light eye or just anything that's not brown. So we have brown eyes or light eyes. And so you have two different options here. Um, well, if, if you have brown eyes, uh, there's two different genotypes that you can be, genotypes being the two genes that you have, because we all have two genes for every trait, because we get one from mom and one from dad. And so you could be, if you have brown eyes, like I do, I could be two things. I could either be a purebred brown-eyed person or a hybrid brown-eyed person. And so if I am a purebred brown-eyed person, I am going to be capital B, baby B. Oftentimes people who are, you know, purebred from brown eyes, maybe you come from, you know, your ancestors came from Italy and their ancestors came from Italy and their ancestors came from Italy and you've never even known a person who wasn't Italian who's been in your family, for example. You might be purebred for brown eyes, but there's no way of knowing until you have future offspring um, because you show brown eyes. Anyways, um, in a Punnett square, a mother would typically go on the left-hand side and a father, a father's genes would go along the top. I don't know why, that's just how it goes. Anyways, so if I were purebred for brown eyes, which I don't really know if I am, I would be a capital B and a capital B. All right, now let's say a father of offspring, can you see this? I need to move it. I'll move it a little bit. There you go. A father of this offspring might uh, be a hybrid for brown eyes. And so that would be a capital B, baby B. Okay. This means, in this situation, it means that the father has brown eyes because the capital letter is dominant. Brown eyes are dominant in people. And so if you have that capital letter, that trait always is going to show. And it's going to hide the little letter or the recessive gene. And so in this situation, this father has brown eyes, but carries the gene for light colored eyes. And so in this situation, you have four different options kind of uh, of what your child might end up looking like. And so in this situation, we take one gene from mom, I'm gonna take a capital B here, and one gene from dad, that would be a capital B here. So this chance of offspring is going to be purebred for brown eyes. For this one, I'm going to take a capital B from mom and this baby B from dad. And this offspring is going to be a carrier for light colored eyes, but they themselves will show brown eyes because they're a hybrid. They have one of each gene. And then this one's going to take a capital B from dad and a capital B from mom. And this one is going to take a capital B from mom over here and a capital or a lowercase b from dad over there. So there is a 100% chance that this offspring is going to have brown eyes, but there's a 50% chance that they will be a carrier for light colored eyes. And so if we think about that, we can show um, what that would look like in a different generation. So let's say one of these carriers, uh, someone with brown eyes is carrying the gene uh, you know, for light colored eyes and they end up having offspring with someone with light eyes. And so here, I'm gonna make my Punnett square again with four cells or quadrants. 
And so let's say that's a female, and we have capital B, lowercase b. This person is a female who is hybrid, which means that they have brown eyes but carry the genes for light eyes. And they have offspring with somebody who has light eyes. That light-eyed person has the recessive gene, meaning that their genotype is little b or baby b, baby b. Um, because of that, they have light eyes because they don't have a capital letter to give them that brown pigment. And so they have a recessive trait. So they have to have two lowercase letter b's. Now their offspring, if we take a gene from mom and a gene from dad, it's going to be baby b, baby b. Or sorry, big b, little b. Big b, little b little b, little b, or little b, little b. In this situation, they have each square is 25% chance of your offspring having that trait. And so we have 25, 50, 50% chance that the offspring is going to have brown eyes, but they will be a carrier for light eyes. And 50% chance here that the offspring will have light colored eyes. So 50-50 in that situation. However, if we have a mother with light colored eyes, baby B, baby B, and a father with light colored eyes, baby B, baby B, all of their offspring must have light colored eyes. 100% chance that their offspring is going to have light colored eyes because it's a recessive gene. You don't have that dominant capital letter gene that's going to give you that pigment for brown eyes. And so if mother and father both have a recessive trait, their children should all have that recessive trait. But thanks for watching. Crystalline Science. Please like and subscribe.